Welcome to another Outside the Box tutorial video. I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and like past months I'm going to share with you several alternate project ideas that I came up with using the contents of Stampin' Up's October 2016 Season of Gratitude Paper Pumpkin Kit. These are the items that came in this kit. The step-by-step -step photo direction pamphlet and the supplies for making eight adorable autumn shaker cards. You get sequins and window sheets, die cut and prepared cardstock, beautiful envelopes, twine, special adhesives, this chocolate chip colored ink pad, and this wonderful stamp set. I love that you get everything cut and ready to assemble. If you intend to make the projects as shown in the directions, all you need is your clear block for using with your stamps, which gets shipped in your first kit, and a scissors. These kits were initially designed over three years ago with beginning crafters in mind, but they make such great projects just with the directions that already come in the kit that any level of paper crafter would love them. What I do is share even more ideas you can create with the kit contents. This way, those of us getting these kits can go beyond and create even more. If you watch this video and discover you'd like to give Paper Pumpkin kits a try, you can click on the subscribe to Paper Pumpkin link below in my video description. It's $20 per month, including the shipping, and you can subscribe for many or even just one month. There is no obligation, so I encourage you to give it a try. I offer new ideas for each month's kit, and if you subscribe with me as your demonstrator, I send you even more ideas each month that are exclusive to my subscribers only. I'm diving right in because I'm excited to share. Keep in mind, most of the extra tools and products that I use in this video can be purchased directly through me. They're listed below in my video description and linked to my online store. Also keep in mind that you can click in the middle of my video and it will take you directly to my blog post where I've shared even more information about paper pumpkin kits of creativity and close-up photos of the projects that I've created. Let's get started. Welcome to video two. We're gonna start right off the bat with our 12 by 12 scrapbook page spread. The supplies that you'll need will be the basic black 12 by 12 cardstock, a trimmer, some glue for adding your sequins, and I'm using the fine tip glue pen. You could also use the mono liquid glue, um, but we'll need this anyways if we're going to make a little sequin picker upper. And then we'll have the snail adhesive, which isn't necessary if you want to use the glue dots that come in the kit, but I love using the snail, and then you'll need a, a scissors. Um, okay. What you'll do is you'll start off by putting some of this mono, this multi-purpose mono liquid glue onto the tip of a toothpick and allow it to dry and that will be your sequin picker up here. I'll, I'll show you how that works here. So you just take a sequin and go like that and you, you can grab it. It's just a little tacky on the end enough to grab that sequin. Okay, the next thing is you'll take your chocolate chip ink pad and three of the squares that come in the kit and we're going to ink up this background stamp and we'll stamp that on all three of the pieces, like so. And if you recall from the first video, I did mention that this paper in this kit is a little bit more coated than normal. So if you, um, if you want to, you have to set this aside to dry before you touch it, or you can turn it over, give it a good rub on your scrap paper, and that will eliminate some of the ink that's on there. But yes, set those aside to dry. The next step is to take one of these pieces from the kit and punch out three of the leaves. The leaves will be used and this piece will be used for accents on the page. You've also got these scraps that you punched your squares and your tags and labels out of. I trimmed off a couple of the strips from those scraps so we can use those and they look like this. Okay, I have like two of each of these colors. Then you'll take a couple envelopes and you'll open them up and you want to be real careful towards the end here. So what I do is I grab my scissors and I come in and I slice a little bit this way. Being careful not to hurt yourself <laughs> because we do not want to have any messes like that happen. And that way we haven't jeopardized any of this paper down here. Then you're going to fold these pieces back like that. And we'll have two of them. Oops, I'm sorry. These pieces back like that. 
We'll have two of them that we will put close together on the page and that will make a nice little um, extra accent on the black paper. And then the last thing that you'll want to do to prepare your pieces is to take your cards, you're going to have three of those, and you're going to cut them um, close to the score line, you're going to cut them at four and an eighth of an inch in. And that will be good for matting your photos that are four by three, uh, five and three eighths. Those are perfect digital size photos. I'm going to take these pieces and turn them over and put them very close together so that they're touching. And then I'm going to run my snail adhesive along the back side. That way I don't get goo all over my work area. And I can put adhesive on all of them at the same time. I've added those same strips over on this side, on the, on the left page. And I'm going to take a piece of twine and wrap it from behind to the front and tie a knot, or tie a bow actually. And then we'll add some photo mats down in the lower corner first and I've already pre-stamped this piece with that same crackle look so we'll add that to the top and then the last step is adding some sequins Okay, we're done. I mentioned this tip in the first video, but um, I want to mention it here too. I, I added my sequins to little containers so that they're easier to work with instead of trying to reach into a little baggie. <clears throat> so there we go. Let's, let's zoom out a bit here so you can see. And there we go. The 12 by 12 scrapbook page layout for the October 2016 paper pumpkin kit. Let's do the next project. This one's really easy, really fun. It just takes a while. So you want to take and find a pumpkin. Okay, let me zoom in here. I'm, not, I'm hiding something on the pumpkin. Um, you want to find a pumpkin that has some character. And I could not believe it. I was at the local grocery store. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I had to grab it up. Plus it was small. And then I started using my fine tip glue pen and added sequins. And I'm, <laughs> it's taking a while because you have to allow it to dry and it's a curved surface. So I'm going to add a couple more sequins just to show you the process. So basically the trick is patience and kind of using a puzzle piece attitude. We have three different sizes of sequins in this kit, which is fabulous for something like this. So you can see I've got um, the medium and the large ones that I've added here and there. And when I get towards the end, I'm sure that I'll have some spaces that, where I'll want to add some of those really, really tiny sequins. But anyways, won't that be a very pretty little decoration for my Thanksgiving Day table? The next project is basically making a bunch of cards out of this kit using by supplementing um, with the note cards and envelope packet. In this packet, which you could get in Crumb Cake or Whisper White, this is the Crumb Cake packet, you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes. These cards are 3.5 by 5. They're slightly smaller, but they still take regular postage to mail. And if you take these pieces in the kit and you cut them into thirds, 3 times 8 is 24, so you really could get 20 cards from one paper pumpkin kit. So we're going to go ahead and use our trimmer, our note cards, and our adhesive again for adding uh, the sequins. And so what you'll do is you'll start trimming. 
you're going to look at the, the line that is in the trimmer here, this, this line that goes down the cutting path, and you're going to eyeball the center between these two leaves, and you're, going to, you're just going to cut. And then from this point on, you're going to cut pieces that are one and, oops, let's see here, make sure I'm measuring this right. You know what, let's cut this next one, because I think I had to go by this one here. So we're going to eyeball between these two and trim again. Now I'll know the measurement. There it is. It's one and five eighths. <laughs> so we're going to trim this next one to one and five eighths. And then this last one you can also do at one and five eighths, but I found it was best at one and a half. I thought it looked more centered. Okay, so now we have those three pieces. And I'm, I'm taking one of the pieces right now. I'm just going to lay it down here on the front of my card. And I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments right in the lower corner. And now I'm going to put dimensionals on the back side. And actually, I could use dimensionals. Or we could use the wonderful foam strips that come in the kit. And then this piece, we'll make sure we have it facing the right direction here. We'll add just regular snail adhesive or using the glue dots that come in your kit. And we're going to carefully place it down inside. So now we have a recessed image. The next step is to take this square, any of the colored squares will work, and we're going to cut really, really small strip a really small strip. Let's cut that to, I don't know what size that was. <laughs> Super thin. And then let's do another one that's about a fourth of an inch. So I think one was an eighth of an inch and one was a fourth. And the same trick applies. We'll put them right next to each other and run that snail adhesive along the back side. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make sure that it was the right length here. So let's see if we can do that um, with one of them that we've already cut. There we go. So I have to trim off just a little smidge there. All right. Then we're going to add these. Wow, I got really close on that. That was awesome. We're going to add those there. Just a little accent, pretend fake faux ribbon, whatever. Okay, and then let's add some of the fine tip glue, a little dot here, and a bigger dot here. And then let's add some coordinating. Oops, I think that one's too big. Let's do the medium. Coordinating um, sequence. Oh, I wanted that one. There we go. Before we glue it down, there we go. There's one. And here's another. Just a couple of fun accents. So I used for the fourth inch wide strip the largest sequin and for the eighth inch the smallest sequin. Okay, so simple cards. You could quickly put together a whole set of 20 cards like that right? Okay. And here's a couple of other layout ideas. This one here, I took and put snail adhesive on this side and an adhesive strip up there on that side. So it looks like, if you can tell from the, the edge there, this side is higher up and then it goes down and becomes flat. But you still have that recessed image look. Bunch of sequins floating off. They look like bubbles. I like that one. Okay, and then we also have this set of three that I did with each different leaf using some of the twine. But I'm running out of twine, so I <laughs> couldn't do the twine one for you, but basically you just wrap it around three times, tie a knot, and have it go this way. And it fits perfectly on these three and a half inch wide cards going this direction because this, this strip, this piece here, is actually three and a half inches wide. So 
You don't have to even do any trimming there. Perfect. All right. So, fun note cards. You can get 20 out of one kit. You can actually get 24. The last project that we're going to do is kind of based on this diorama card that I did with my stampers, with our community of stampers at our team meeting that we had online just this month. Um, so this was one of the cards that we got to make. It's, um, as you can see, it looks like a little box and it folds flat, just like that. So we're going to do that with the kit. Now, um, with the paper pumpkin kit, we're going to use this layer as an add-on. So we're going to get a longer piece of cardstock with our base cardstock that we're going to use. And we can't use the cardstock that comes in the kit, even though this card base is exactly the right length we need, because the score lines are different. So I pulled out some more basic black cardstock from my stash. Since we used that on the 12 by 12 um, scrapbook page, I thought we might as well just use the same color. Plus black shows off everything really well. So we're going to cut a piece of 8.5 by 5.5 basic black cardstock, and we're going to score it at 3 and 3 eighths. We're going to move the score the paper in further, and we're going to score at 7 and 1 eighth, and then we're going to score again at 7 and 5 eighths. Okay, now, as you can see, we're going to need to have an extra amount um, on the inside here that's going to become the diorama part. So that's where this comes in, and we're going to add that here, um, actually this way, and then we're going to make a score line here so it can attach to the side. So we need to make a half inch score line along that edge. And we'll have just enough cardstock to give us about an eighth of an inch overlap here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out these leaves. They're just getting in the way anyways. So we're going to add some tear and tape adhesive along here. We need some really strong adhesive. So we're going to grab this. And the nice thing about the tear and tape is you can cut it um, to the size you want. So we're also going to add some tear and tape adhesive here so it's thinner. We're going to make like an eighth inch little strip along there. Hence the name tear and tape adhesive. We could just tear it right off. I love that stuff. So you'll want to have this adhesive as close up to the edge as possible, to the score line. And then on this side, as close to this edge, but not going over, to that score line. And let's go ahead and add this piece in next. So we're going to fold everything nice and flat. There we go. And now before we actually put this piece in here and attach it, we're going to add some stamped squares, just like we had with our main cards. Now you'll notice that the um, stamped squares can show off some of the black when we open and close, but that's okay. If it bugs you, you can uh, make it two squares wide all the way down. So now I'm using the grid lines on my grid paper to help myself with um, marking this in the right spot. So I want to be about three-fourths of an inch in and about a fourth of an inch up from my first layer. And then I'll just put this one right next to it. And this one up here on top. And that should put, position them in approximately the correct area. Okay. Before we close this up, we'll do one more thing. We're going to add some twine to the inside here. I need my sharper scissors. Did you notice that I mark <laughs> my scissors? One has the um, ribbon around it and one does not. This one I always keep sharp 
for my ribbon and my fabric and things like that. Um, those of you that work with fabric know that you do not ever want to cut paper with your good scissors. So I have a good scissors and I have a paper scissors that just gets duller and duller the more I use it and eventually that's the one that I will change out. But okay, let's go ahead and make this simple. We'll just put a knot in there first. All right. <clears throat> Next we're going to take the adhesive backing off of here. And we want our card to be able to close properly, so we're going to we're going to do it this way. This is more important than opening all the way. You'll notice that there's a difference between the two. Um, closing it and opening it you get a little bit of a pucker there, so always have it closed as you're trying to make sure everything works. Okay, So there, now we can shove this over a bit. And we can decorate the front of our card. So now we're going to grab the bone folder and we're going to give our leaves a little bit of a curl. And what I did with this piece here is I um, I stamped it with that crackle image. So we're going to put that onto our card front with lots of snail adhesive. And as we do that, we're going to put these leaves behind. We're going to try to center this too. So let's see if we can do, let's see if we have success with this. <laughs> Got the leaves behind. Oh, we got to put adhesive on them. <laughs> Smart, Rachel. There we go. Okay, now we'll put the leaves behind. It's a tight fit in here. Oh, let's move it down a bit. There we go. Well, I can already tell that this leaf is going to be the knotty one. We're going to curl it back a bit. Okay. And then I've already pre-stamped this piece with best wishes, which we will add to our card using some foam adhesive strip pieces. We'll just go like that. There. And we could get fancier if we wanted to. We could add some sequins to it. So there's our two different cards. And then here is a fancy, fancy version <laughs> with sequins. Look how much work that was. What did I do? Oh my gosh. I spent a long time adding sequins to the inside. <laughs> so if you want to really get elaborate, there is our fun diorama card. Thank you for watching. It builds creativity to think outside the box. Remember, these fun surprise kits of creativity are just $20 a month, which includes shipping costs. You can do them alone for a 30-minute creative escape, or you can share the creating with others. They make great gifts, and the holidays are just around the corner. Forgive me, by the way, I did not finish this pumpkin yet, but I will, I promise. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can catch more Paper Pumpkin Kit videos that I've shared using past kits and more that I'll share with future kits. Also, be sure to visit my blog at stampyourartout.com so that you can view close-up photos of these projects and see photos of other Paper Pumpkin Kit ideas. If you're watching my video on YouTube, look for the links in my description below. And to see some extra exclusive project ideas, get your Paper Pumpkin subscription started with me as your demonstrator. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.